everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a full review video of the Signage Mod 10 ROM on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Right now, the build I am running, it's an Alpha 2 ROM, so it's going to have some bugs uh, in the future. Hopefully, these bugs will be squashed and it will be a fully functioning ROM. So anyways, let's go ahead and talk about some of the bugs that I mentioned that... Uh, Okay, sorry about that, I did get a phone call, but as I mentioned, I did want to talk about some of those bugs. First of all, you cannot stream music over Bluetooth, that's one of the bugs. I don't think NFC works, orientation sensor is delayed, and it can take a minute or two to start working. So those are some uh, known bugs that they've put up on their, on their website. I know that early builds, uh, alpha builds, can have some issues with data. Uh, it seemed to be work. It seems to be working fine. Um, as much as I've used it so far, data seems to be just fine. Uh, GPS can take a little while to turn on as well. Um, I can go ahead and test it inside and see if it works. Generally, when I'm inside, I can get a lock. I can turn on my GPS radio. Um, I believe Maps is not installed. So Maps, I have to go to the Play Store and install the Maps application. Okay. Anyways, while I have that downloading, I want to go over some other. Very neat features. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the notification bar down here. Pull it down. Everything is made in the CM10 ROM to look and feel like stock AOSP jelly bean like you would on a Nexus device. I'm going to go into settings first, scroll all the way down, go to about phone, and you'll see it is Android version 4.1.2 at the moment. Uh, again, as usual, you can click quickly tap on Android version, and of course you get these jelly beans as most people know but uh, you can quickly tap on signage amount version and they've included their own hidden menu as well uh, a lot of people like me showing that off so just quickly showing that uh, so as I said 4.1.2 it isn't 4.2 at the moment um, but they are working on getting this perfected again they're trying to squash some of, those, some of those bugs that I did mention earlier also in about phone you'll see there's an update section um, that could potentially let you know when there are updates to the specific ROM that you have installed, if they have a beta come out or an alpha 3, anything like that, uh, this should let you know that, that that can be changed. Okay, so Maps was installed. I am on 3G just so uh, once it uh, loads up, it will uh, use 3G as opposed to Wi-Fi. Um, I am zooming in up here. You, you'll want to pay attention to this little icon right there. Um, just to see if it can get a lock. It'll just stay full. It won't blink anymore. So we'll see if it can get a lock or not. As I said, it can take a bit of time to get a lock. We'll see if it can do so. I'm just kind of zooming in like, oh, it did. Looks like it got a lock. There we go. So GPS seemed to work fine. It turned on right away and searched for a signal and it got a lock. I am inside right now. So what did that take? 10 seconds. So great that, uh, GPS is working, but anyways, let's pull down that notification bar once more. As I said up at the top, you got time, date, settings, clear all. Um, you can turn on and off GPS. You can edit these toggles. I'll get to that in a second. You can actually press and hold on the toggle, and it quickly goes into those settings. So there are my GPS settings um, that uh, it loaded up right away. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about these notification panels right down here. You'll see I have maps successfully installed you can swipe those away as usual you also see i have a text message from google here um, with sp specific notifications you you can expand and contract them with two fingers you can contract them and with one finger you can actually expand it you can pull it down so that's really neat you don't have to use two fingers to go up and down with the notification you have to use two fingers to go up but to bring it down, you can just use that one finger. So that's a really neat feature. And also, one of my favorite features about signage mod, I know it's kind of um, trivial, not necessarily trivial, but I know it's not some of the amazing features that signage mod offers, but this is still one of my favorite. With the messaging application, you can quickly reply to a message there. You can mark it as read, or you can call directly from the notification uh, pull down bar, which I really love. So if I wanted to reply to Google, I just hit reply and I can just say, Hey, and hit send and that's it. So it'll send the message. It'll send the message and it will be replied automatically. So that's great. You'll see Google responded right away. Uh, four, six, six, four, five, three, if you wanted to mess around with texting Google. Uh, but again, there you have it. You can press this icon in the upper right hand corner and it, uh, quickly swipes away all of those notifications. A little bit more on the messaging application, go into it. 
Uh, you'll see here's the threaded text message there. I can go ahead and go into settings. Some settings I just wanted to point out. There are some cool ones, um, but with vibrate, you want to turn that to only when silent or always if you would like your phone to vibrate. Some people always ask me why my phone isn't vibrating. And with use dark theme, this is only for quick reply. It doesn't change the whole messaging application to dark theme, but that quick reply option, you can also have a pop-up option. So to uh, show off that dark theme, I'm going to text Google again and say hi and send that, and then once they reply, um, and I hit quick reply in that notification bar, there should be a dark option. So pull this down, I hit reply, you'll see it was white before, and now it has that dark background to it. I like that dark background much more. Um, I can just hit view, it'll go straight to that message, or I can close it out. So there's that, um, just going over some features of the messaging application. I use that a lot, so I wanted to cover that. Go into the dialer, there is that dialer, as you saw that incoming call screen already, um, that it looks very much like uh, an AOSP device, of course. Go into our app drawer, you'll see horizontal uh, options. Also wanted to make a quick note about the S Pen. I know a lot of people were probably wondering about it. Um, the S Pen works fine with the touch screen. It works just like it should. Uh, very responsive, picks everything up great. You'll see very smooth, but you aren't gonna get any of the features with the S Pen, such as cutting out a screen, double tapping for a pop-up note, anything like that. There are some, in, in the ROM thread, which I'll link to in the description, there are some applications such as Stick It for a pop-up player, I believe um, Float Note for some kind of note or a memo. There's other applications that you can try to get those memo applications, but again, um, you aren't gonna be able to do any actions while pressing the button, double tapping the screen, anything like that. It does absolutely nothing with Sign Jamad. Those are all touch whiz features, so just kind of keep that in mind if you're someone that really utilizes the S Pen, you might not want to install this ROM. Uh, again, it does uh, remove some of the functionality of the S Pen. One more thing about the S Pen, I believe AirView works. Go ahead and go into settings, and then go to language and input, I believe it is. Go to that, and then style gestures, I believe. Right there, stylus gestures. And then you can enable stylus gestures where um, you can have some specific gestures with left swipe, right swipe, up swipe. So if I wanted left swipe to open up the calculator, let's try that. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know exactly how this works. Um, it says by holding the stylus button, so let's try this. There we go. So there it is. So swiping from right to left, right opens up the calculator. You do have to have the button press, so I guess I was wrong with... Uh, the button option, I did. I forgot about these uh, neat features that um, it, it allowed for. So that's really cool that uh, it has that option. So you can install a specific memo application and you can have it say, right swipe opens up this memo application. You can go a swipe to the right and then it'll open it up and you can write on it. So that's really neat that uh, those are featured. Again, I think AirView, uh, you can check show icon while using stylus and I guess it's some kind of air view. You'll see a little icon there. So it looks like a mouse trackpad there. So that's really neat that uh, that option is there. I don't know if it's gonna bring up specific uh, expansions. Okay, I found I realized a good way to test out the air view. I'm gonna load up qbking77.com. Again, here is my site loading up on 3G. It seems to be pretty, uh, pretty nice. I do have some drop down menus. So if I wanted to zoom in real quick here, with previously on the air view, when I hovered over them, it would expand it. And it doesn't look like it's doing so. So it does lose some air view functionality but on a TouchWiz ROM, it would drop it down. Again, I don't know if it has to do with the specific browser it's using. Again, it might be a little bit different on, um, on Chrome browser or specific browser, sorry. But, uh, but yeah, so air view, you've got this mouse trackpad when you hover over your screen. So that's a little neat feature that's included. Okay, but enough about the S Pen and such. Let's go ahead and go into the camera application. Just wanted to take a quick picture and show you guys. Here's actually the remote for the uh, cam video camera that I'm using. So if I want to take a quick picture of that, flash is on. So you can take that, take another one. If I wanted to turn flash off, I believe in the upper, not the upper left hand corner, um, go into the settings down here and you can turn flash mode off on, etc. So then you can just quickly tap and take a bunch of pictures. Once you have those pictures made, you can go vertically, swipe from the right, and then you can uh, show off those images quickly by swiping back and forth. You can tap on it and share those image or delete them quickly. 
Uh, so those are uh, features of the AOSP camera application. You have other various settings and such um, that you can mess with. Obviously, store location, power shutter, picture size, etc. So those are some changes there. You have video camera, panorama, and just straight up camera as well. In the bottom right, you can tap on that and it brings up those images as well as opposed to swiping. So just figured I'd show off that quick camera application. It does have a file manager. Apollo is the CM music player. Um, you have uh, all the stock Google Apps gallery, Google search, which I'll get to in now actually. So it does have Google Voice. Um, not Google Voice, Google Now with the cards, so I can go ahead and set that up. I just hit next, next, um, next again, and I'm just going to hit yes, I'm in. So it'll load up Google Now, it'll show up some cards, show off some birthdays. Let me know that uh, the Bears did fire Lovey Smith. I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, if you're a Bears fan, very interesting news. I don't know exactly why they did so. I'm sure they had a good reason, but uh, very unfortunate for Lovey Smith. I know... Uh, Devin Hester is pretty upset about that as well. Let's me know the Bulls won though, so that's some good news. Anyways, so that's Google Now. You can try Google Voice Search. What's the weather like in Scottsdale, Arizona? It's 50 degrees and partly cloudy in Scottsdale. There you go. 50 degrees, partly cloudy in Scottsdale. Uh, the Voice Search is working fantastically. Um, it seems like Everything is very smooth with this ROM, so it seems to be working great. Uh, very quick, very smooth. I haven't had any lag issues whatsoever. Did want to talk about changing those icons up at the top. So you go into settings, and there's a bunch of different settings in, in here. Um, we can go to launcher settings. Uh, you can change the amount of home screens, grid size. Uh, you can uncheck that search bar that's there. You can have resize any widget. I'm going to go back again, go to the drawer again. Some quick drawer settings, go to the dock icons, you can have more dock icons down there. So I think you can have up to nine. So we go back, you can have nine dock icons. That's kind of uh, crazy actually. So it looks really goofy though. Uh, of course with nine, you have to really cram them in there. But again, you can quickly tap on them. And uh, someone's asking me what my favorite chip is. Probably the i7. <laughs> okay, that's just kind of a geek joke there. Um, but anyways, um, we can go ahead and uh, go back into those settings. Uh, those are all the basic launcher settings with dock. You have general, you can auto rotate that home screen as well. Um, lock screen settings. So there's some cool ones here. We can show off the lock screen. First of all, it's that uh, AOSP style where Google now go up, camera to the left, unlock to the right. Uh, you can change the security, background, clock alignment, battery status, so I can have always on so that it shows off that battery percentage right there. Um, otherwise, owner info, you can have weather display on the lock screen, so that's kind of cool. You can check that. Um, I'm going to uncheck use metric because I want it to be in Fahrenheit. Uh, camera and slider shortcut. So here's the cool one. You have other options to change shortcuts, so if you wanted to add one, you can have activities, applications, bookmarks, contacts, etc. So I'm going to go into applications. You can have it turn on the messaging application. I'm going to hit OK, hit save in the bottom right, and right away it's saved. So now I can go ahead and quickly go up to that messaging application. You'll see the weather is showing. I believe you can tap on it and it refreshes. So there's that. Uh, so slider shortcuts working well. Button actions, you can long press the back button, home button, and menu button as well, and, and set some actions for that. Themes, you can just look up CM10 in the Play Store, and you can try out some different themes. And system settings, here is where you can mess with that uh, status bar notification pull down. You have AM, PM style, none, uh, battery status style, so you have other battery uh, icons that you can use. We can go ahead and zoom in on that up at the top. So you'll see the battery icon, you can try percentage, you can try circle. You can try circle with percentage and hidden. So why would you want to hide it? Because you can have, I believe, uh, it doesn't look like you can, but uh, generally you could have a battery indicator bar up at the top. I don't see that option there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just use icon for now. So there is the various battery icons that you can use. Kind of neat there. You can show notification count, uh, notification drawer. Here's those power widgets. You can change which buttons show up. So if you wanted LED flashlight on there, you can add that. It gets added right away. Um, you can go ahead and turn that torch on. Awesome. Someone got a Halo 4 so I can play with them. Um, anyways, we got, uh, so that works great. Again, you can hit red. So I read it. Don't need to reply. Actually, I will reply once this video is done. Um, but anyways, so uh, there's some options there. You can change the order of those widget buttons. So you got widget button order. 
Um, you can go up and down, there we go, and right away it gets changed. So you'll see the sound is right there as opposed to all the way on the right. Um, so great that you can do that. You can close the drawer and change hide scroll bar and turn it on and off haptic feedback. Wallpaper, font size, power menu, when you press and hold that power button, you have various options for profiles, power off, reboot, airplane mode, etc. So you can change those. Hardware keys as well. Uh, enable cu custom actions with home key, etc. So uh, we can go back, press and hold that home button, and you'll see it brings up a list of applications. Normally you'd be used to swiping away those applications manually uh, in, on an AOSP style ROM, just quickly go and keep going. But in the upper right hand corner, you have an option to clear all. So you can tap that icon, you'll see it goes through and does an animation to clear all of those applications, go back and press and hold and you'll see no recent apps. So that's nice that that is included. If I wanted to go back into those settings, we can. There's just a couple more I wanted to point out really quickly. Um, go back in there um, with advanced right here, device advanced settings. There's some screen uh, settings and haptic settings. Uh, don't mess with these if you don't know what you're doing. Um, those are there as well, and also some performance settings. Again, I wouldn't really recommend messing with any of these whatsoever unless you really know what you're doing uh, with processor. You can't overclock, you can't underclock with whatever kernel is being used with this ROM, but that is really it. Uh, overall, very smooth. It seems to be working great. Again, you got GPS working. I believe picture messaging works. Let me try that out real quick. Okay, so I texted myself and left a picture message, and incoming and outcoming seems to be to be working very well. So there is that. Uh, works great. Also, um, I texted, uh, it's actually my girlfriend, I texted her and said, um, I, I said an i7 was my favorite, and she's like, huh? Oh, a food chip. At least she understood what an i7 was. I was actually pretty impressed about that, so I thought that was pretty funny, and I'd add that. But uh, anyways, that would be a full review of Signage Ma 10 on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I'll keep you guys updated with um, beta builds or stable builds, letting you know when it's fully functional. Again, it's an alpha ROM, so you might run into a couple bugs here and there, so keep that in mind. But overall, working great. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Let me know what you think as well. Be sure to leave a comment. Subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.